Hey everyone, my name is Anton Pelcher. I'm an engineer and I've been constructing fish farms for more than 10 years. In this video, I'm going to tell you why more and more entrepreneurs who want to run a fish farm choose recirculating aquaculture system or RAS. Be sure to watch this video, because at the end I will tell you why I like doing this business. Reason 1. The first reason is space saving. Imagine a RAS farm located in a building that takes around 500 or even 1000 times less area than a pond. Yes, it sounds crazy, but this is due to a high stocking density and faster growth compared to a pond. All of this is possible thanks to creating optimal conditions. Reason 2 The second reason is that optimal conditions are available all year round. Just imagine a pond. Seasons come and go, fish doesn't grow during winter, and it's very hot in summer. RAS has all the same conditions all year round. That's why fish is constantly growing at a high rate. Reason 3. And here comes the third reason. Fish grows two or even three times faster than in ordinary reservoirs. RAS provides a one and a half or two kilogram stagion in just one year, whereas in a pond you get it in at least two years. It means that from the same kilogram of stagion you will earn from 12 to 14 US dollars not during two or three years, but only one. If it's about smaller fish like sterlet, the buyback period is even faster, which starts from six months. Reason 4. Valuable fish species such as sturgeon, trout, African catfish, and not only fish, such as crayfish, shrimp, and so on, are grown in RAS. Growing and selling such fish provide a high margin. So, the difference between the cost of cultivation and sale is much higher than for cheap types of fish, such as carp, crushing carp, white amu, and silver carp. For example, carp farming will earn you 1 US dollar 40 cents per 1 kilogram of fish, which is quite approximately. Growing and selling stagion will earn you 5 US dollars and a half to 7 per 1 kilogram. Reason 5. The fifth reason is the efficiency of feed use. Of course, fish must be fed. You can use cheap feed or an expensive one, but this is not the most important point. What is the most important is that the feed should be absorbed by the fish effectively. In RAS, the amount of feed fed per 1 kg of increase is about 2 to 3 times less than in open water sources. First of all, it happens because the feed is of much higher quality and is highly effective. If you feed the fish in a pond, half of the feed will be eaten and the other half will be scattered. Of course, that's why everything that you feed to the fish in RAS is completely absorbed. Reason 6. The sixth reason is theft and cataclysms. Just imagine, you bought a pond, you invested much money for stocking material and feed. Then, the fish was stolen from you by a security guard, neighbors or just visitors. By the way, ponds can't be closed at all, it's simply forbidden. That's why anyone can come there and do whatever he or she wants. Okay, next one is hatcheries. For so many times, I have heard that someone just cut the hatchery, which resulted in a loss of a brood stock worth 14,000 US dollars. Fish was stolen from channels or an open cultivation system because of the absence of strict access control. What is the main feature of RAS? This feature is that everything is located in a building behind the closed doors. It means it's impossible to get to the farm without appropriate authorization. Moreover, it has video surveillance. Try to install a decent video surveillance around a pond of 10 to 20 hectares. Well, it's unlikely that you will succeed. Even more, you'll have to fence it. RAS is a compact system. I have already mentioned this. At the same time, the guard or the operator are controlling the access. No one comes inside without your permission. Everything is accounted for. The fish is in the fish holding tanks, everything is kept in a log, everything is under surveillance. You will not lose a single fish under decent control measures. Reason 7. The seventh reason is that the fish doesn't get sick. Why? Just imagine an open pond. There is already a huge number of different parasites, bacteria and microorganisms. Also, birds or other fish may spread any infection. Fish get sick very often, including with fatal outcome. Well, do you want to lose a whole broodstock? Even if it won't be the worst scenario, if your fish is sick, you are unlikely to be able to sell it for a good price. Now let's compare this with RAS. What is the advantage of RAS? The farm is closed. 
It means that there is no contact with the environment, birds, animals and no one can spread the infection. Secondly, there is a sanitary schedule. Disinfection of hands, shoes and clothes is provided for. So, when you come here, you are absolutely clean and you can't infect fish. I am now standing in a special dressing gown. I changed my clothes in order to get to this farm, otherwise they wouldn't have let me in. The next reason is pure artesian water. Actually, water is supplied to the rest from a well. The well is 50 to 150 meters deep. It means that there are no pathogenic microorganisms and it supplies clean water, which can't be infected with any bacteria, viruses or anything. It's ecologically clean fish that you get from fish holding tanks rather than ponds. If you are not incubating it yourself, it's supplied from the same farms that are engaged in farming fry. They monitor its quality so that it's completely healthy. Let's go further. What is being constantly treated and disinfected inside rust? That is, the water circulates in a closed tank and it's constantly disinfected either with ozone or ultraviolet, or both, depending on the process. All these levels of security can guarantee healthy fish. Of course, even in RAS fish can get sick if you bought sick fry, if you turned off the disinfection system, or if you let strangers in without proper control measures. There is no absolute guarantee, but 95% of your fish is always healthy and any diseases are rather an exception. Reason 8. Eighth reason is fast payback. Fish farming is the business that pays back quite fast, so your grandchildren won't face any difficulties in the following 30 or 50 years. It's a good business that pays back in 3 to 5 years. Don't forget to press thumbs up button, because this video is just about how to make this business profitable. Standard animal husbandry, cattle breeding, dairy farming, poultry farming usually pay back not earlier than in 6 to 8 years. This has been established by the market. A properly organized fish farm pays back in 3 to 5 years, which is generally much faster than all the main branches of agriculture. The most interesting thing is that this quick payback is not related to any special processes and the growth rate of fish is high. Just imagine, poultry, beef or pork markets are huge. Direct ends hundreds of thousands of tons sold annually. There is a huge number of large companies. Of course, there is dumping and the marginality in growing and selling has been reduced to such limits that only large players survive. Yes, they feel fine, but it's quite difficult for a new person to get into this business and open a pig farm, for example. When growing fish, especially with valuable fish species such as sturgeon, the market is much narrower and much smaller. There are fewer players, less competition, there is no such crazy dumping. Every market player understands their price and they don't try to kill each other with low prices. Reason 9. The ninth reason is predictability. If you have designed and built a farm for 20 tons of grow-out fish per year, then you clearly understand in advance that you will grow exactly this amount of fish, because you have a fry supplier that guarantees the right number of supplies and at the right time. Then you have high-quality feed, and you know how your fish will grow. Hot or cold weather won't have any significant impact on your fish. Imagine that your fish stops eating, it starts to lose weight or even dies. When it's cold, fish doesn't eat and doesn't grow. In in RAS, you have a clear understanding of how much fish you will grow and how much you will sell. Moreover, this performance is stable throughout the year. Not once a year like you fished out in September. And you need to urgently sell your fish and there are hundreds of businessmen like you around who also want to sell their fish. But the thing is, you understand how much grow out fish you will have every month throughout the year. By the way, if you have ever farmed fish, or your acquaintances and friends have farmed it, even if it's three cups in a pond, be sure to comment below, because I wonder how people grow fish. I will definitely answer, because I personally read all the comments. Reason 10. And the tenth reason is my most favorite. It's easy to calculate the profit. You know how much fish you will grow. 
For example, let's take the capacity of 2 tons per year. You know your expenses, because the cost of feed is clear, as well as the cost of fry, as well as electricity, heating, and your stuff. Let it be 5 US dollars. The market price for sturgeon doesn't change for many years. Actually, it grows slightly. You understand that if you sell wholesale, then you will sell it for 10 US dollars. As for retail, you will sell it for 12 to 13 US dollars. If it includes delivery, then you can lift the price up to 15 US dollars. You clearly understand that, for example, you raised a sturgeon with a cost of 5 US dollars, so you sold it at 12 US dollars. 7 US dollars difference is your marginality. We multiply it by 2000 kilograms, which makes it 14,000 US dollars. Here is your profit. Of course, this value might fluctuate depending on the region and the situation. By the way, if you want to know the exact calculations and business plan, be sure to subscribe to our channel because next time we are going to talk about it. This is Anton Pelcher, and welcome to my channel where I talk about fish farming and how to earn good money from it. See you soon!